How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary videos that are starting to spook the internet. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more freaky content. Just like this. I am so glad that I found this video again. Um, this curious piece of footage has been going viral this past couple of weeks. Its origins are unknown, but this version was re-uploaded to TikTok by user Redeem777. Believed to have been filmed somewhere in Africa, we can see a group of people gathered around a man standing in the water. And... Looks like some kind of ritual is underway. But take a look at what happens next. I mean, I don't know if it's from, I don't, you know, I don't know if this is something, some divine power that they, that, that God gave this woman. I think it's a woman, but I'm not sure. All of a sudden, the water recedes unusually fast, emptying the bay in the blink of an eye. Look at this. It's already dry, like, where that guy's standing. There it goes. According to the witnesses' reactions, they believe the shaman was responsible for shifting the water. This is some, some divine power that they, that, that God gave this woman. I think it's a woman, but I'm not sure. Unfortunately, whoever initially recorded the footage has placed a giant subscribe logo over the screen right as the water begins to recede, which is kind of frustrating. But if we watch that again, the speed at which the water retreats has left many viewers believing that this is the work of some kind of magic. However, some more down-to-earth theories have been suggested. Some keen-eyed viewers think this might be a combination of the topographical features of the bay and that it might also be a spring tide. A spring tide is a type of tide that occurs when the gravitational forces of the sun and the moon are aligned and working together. During a spring tide, the high tides are higher than usual and the low tides are lower than usual and may move more quickly than normal. Spring tides are called spring not because they occur in the spring season, but because the tidal waters spring up and rise more than usual during these tides. So are we seeing some kind of genuine magic here? Or is it the work of a charlatan taking advantage of a naturally occurring phenomena to make themselves appear more mystical? Let me know where you land on this one in the comments down below. <laughs> Look at this. It's already dry, like, where that guy's standing. There it goes. <laughs> This next image was uploaded to Reddit by a user who's since deleted their account. But some years ago, they stayed at their mum's house deep in the woods in New London, Minnesota. They were minding the house alone with their boyfriend when, in the middle of the night, they awoke with a start, feeling like someone was watching them from the corner of the room. Although unsettled by the feeling, they eventually went back to sleep, and that was that. The following week, the OP's mum's boyfriend was sleeping in the same bed and woke in the middle of the night feeling like someone was watching him sleep. Irked, he began taking some photos of the room to see if anything might show up. In one of the photos, you can see the faint suggestion of a figure standing in the darkness. There even appears to be two wide eyes piercing the black room. When the OP told their mother about what had happened, the mum admitted that she thought the house might be haunted. She too felt like someone was watching her all the time and had even heard strange noises and tapping sounds around the house. The mother even broke her one year lease 10 months early because she felt a very dark presence in the house and wanted to leave immediately. Interestingly, the whole New London greater area is steeped in stories of the paranormal with locals believing a lot of the strange activity occurs along Timberlake Road. People have reported seeing mysterious lights along the old dusty road. Some have claimed that the lights are coming from a ghostly lantern held by a woman who haunts the area. Others have claimed that the lights are coming from a car that crashed and killed its passengers many years ago. 
One of the most common reports are sightings of ghostly children. There's an urban legend that a young family was murdered in the area, and that now the spirits of the young children wander the road looking for their parents. They're allegedly sometimes spotted crouching among the tombstones of the local cemetery, but whenever someone approaches them, they disappear. Knowing these local legends, the Reddit user speculated whether the eerie shadow caught on film might have something to do with the young family that was said to have been murdered all those years ago. A mysterious phenomenon has been reported by hundreds of people all over the world that psychologists are struggling to fully comprehend. During incidents of extreme hardship, such as war, isolation in the wilderness, or even climbing accidents, survivors report the feeling of an unseen presence that watches them. It's become known as the third man factor. The third man factor is a phenomenon experienced by some individuals who have been involved in life-threatening or traumatic situations. It's characterized by the sensation of a comforting or encouraging presence that seems to be with the person providing support and guidance in their moment of need. The term third man factor was coined by John Geiger, who wrote a book by the same name after researching many accounts of this phenomenon. The name refers to the idea that this presence is often felt as a third person who is with the individual, even though there's no physical person present. The third man factor has been reported by many people who have been involved in a range of traumatic experiences, such as mountaineering accidents, shipwrecks, and military combat. In these situations, individuals are reported feeling the presence of a benevolent or protective force, often described as a guardian angel, spirit, or a deceased loved one. The presence may offer advice, encouragement, or a sense of calm, which helps the person to survive and endure their ordeal. One of the most famous examples of the third man factor occurred during the 1953 expedition to Mount Everest, when two climbers, Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay, became the first people to reach the summit of the mountain. During their descent, they encountered a dangerous blizzard and were forced to spend the night on the mountain without shelter or supplies. As the storm raged on, Hillary reported feeling the presence of another climber with them, whom he described as a third man. He reported that this presence gave him comfort and guidance and helped him to stay focused and alert throughout the night. Norgay also reported sensing a presence which he attributed to the Tibetan deity Chomolungma, the goddess of Everest. The presence of the third man was reported by other climbers who had survived similar mountaineering accidents, including George Mallory, who died on Everest in 1924. Mallory wrote about feeling the presence of a divine intervention during a previous expedition to the mountain, where he'd narrowly avoided falling to his death. The phenomenon of the third man factor has also been reported in other extreme situations, such as the sinking of the USS Indianapolis during World War II, and the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. In each of these cases, individuals reported feeling the presence of a comforting or guiding force that helped them to survive and endure their ordeal. The third man factor is not a universal experience, and not everyone who undergoes a traumatic experience will feel this presence. Some skeptics argue that the third man factor is simply a psychological coping mechanism, which the brain employs to help people deal with the extreme stress and anxiety. While the third man factor may not be fully understood, it's a fascinating and powerful phenomenon that highlights the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. A few years ago, Reddit user Space Girl in Space received a photo from a friend of her mum's. When she posted it online, one small detail left users wondering whether a ghost had been caught on camera. The family were hiking through a rural conservation area known as Jeffrey's Cliffs in Horsville, Kentucky, when they decided to take some photos to remember the day by. However, when the family reviewed the photos, they were confused and a little bit frightened. In one pic, you can see what looks like a transparent person looming over the posing family. It almost looks like an old man with a moustache wearing a hat. The area where the photo was taken is very out of the way and the family's certain there wasn't a moustachioed old man walking around in the background. There is an area nearby called Morgan's Cave that was once used as a hideout for Confederate soldiers during the American Civil War. However, the so-called apparition looks a little more modern than that era. 
So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think's been captured in this mysterious photo? Share your theories in the comments down below. The following eerie footage was captured by a supermarket security camera during a night shift. It was uploaded to TikTok by Terra S Nocturnos. Watch. As you can see, things begin to get pretty freaky when a shopping cart seems to move all on its own. Then more strange activity is captured by the camera. Finally, it looks as though this employee sees something rather frightening. As he tentatively tries to exit the building, boxes fall down in his path. He then tries to run away before getting hit by some more boxes. No one seems to know where or when this video was captured, so it's hard to dig a little deeper into the history of the area. So for now, this eerie little clip will have to remain a complete mystery. Before we take a look at some freaky photos in which many people are saying contains an evil presence, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our creepy and mysterious videos. Several years ago, Reddit user Hobo Bona was in the process of buying a new house. While doing a walkthrough with his mum, they took numerous photos of the building to get a good feel of the place before actually purchasing the property. While reviewing the photos later that night, they noticed that in one particular room, a dark mass or blur was present. All the other photos were fine, but in this one corner, in one specific room, a black mass was always present. Spooked by the images, the OP did some research on the property. They discovered that it had been listed for sale seven times since 1987, and the last four sales, the families only lived there for a period of less than one year. After digging a little deeper, they found that one of the previous owners had died in the house, but they don't know where exactly or how. When the photos were posted online to Reddit, many viewers felt an evil or unsettling presence by the strange black mass. So would you buy this house after hearing the history and seeing this thing in a corner of a room? Let me know in the comments down below. Now if you can't get enough of the old slapped ham, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out that creepy video on the top there. Otherwise, we have an enormous paranormal playlist there that'll keep you entertained well into the evening, we promise. Now remember to leave us a comment down below and hit that thumbs up button. And that's it from me. I'll see you all next time.